morning dear students in today's class we'll see the example based on sampling theory with the reference to the previous information what we have studied in the previous lectures so today we'll see a test of significance of sample mean so here to test whether the difference between sample mean x bar and population mean mu so here you can consider the sample mean symbolically called as small x bar and population mean stand for mu is significant or not means whether both uh, x bar and uh, uh, sample mean uh, what we have taken from the population is same with uh, the population mean is uh, both will same or no we'll check it so for that we need to consider the uh, null hypothesis as there is no difference between sample mean and population mean we'll consider this and whether this hypothesis supposed to be accepted or rejected based on what here values what we have taken for 5% and 1% we we have the values so we need to check for that so here we have the formula to solve those things so here formula is for sample mean of uh, 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 is z is equal to x bar minus mu divided by standard deviation divided by root n where this x bar is nothing but sample mean this mu is nothing but population mean this uh, standard deviation is nothing but uh, uh, mean of uh, standard deviation is mean of what here population and sometimes here s will come s stand for uh, uh, sample of uh, means uh, standard deviation of sample also so here a small n belongs to what here number of samples so with the help of this uh, uh, x bar mu standard deviation and n will find the value of z and this z value will compare with z alpha z alpha is nothing but our critical values that is uh, level of significance what we have seen in the previous lecture in the form of table so what is level of significance for z alpha for 1% and 5% we will check with the two tail test because we are uh, will not uh, if uh, will not specify for right tail or a left tail so we'll see the situation how it works so based on that we'll see whether it is two tail or one tail or uh, right tail or left tail here okay let's begin with the problems now now the question is a normal population has mean of 6.8 and standard deviation of 1.5 a sample of 400 members give a mean 6.75 is the difference significant so solution I have taken H0 that is null hypothesis as there is no significant difference between X bar means sample mean and mu that is population mean means both are same I am considering here. So we will see whether my statement is true or false whether to accept this hypothesis or reject this hypothesis we will see now. So uh, we will collect the data so given so a normal population a normal population has mean so given a normal population has mean of means population has mean means population mean means what here mu is equal to how much 6.8 then standard deviation that is rho is equal to 1.5 a sample of 400 means n is equal to 400 members give a mean that is x bar is equal to 6.75 so these are the data from the given question so what i have considered here there is a means there is a no difference between this mu and this mu this 6.8 and 6.75 we'll check whether it is true or no by using the formula so we know that or we have z is equal to so formula is z is equal to so sometimes negative will come i will take modulus of that so z is equal to 
modulus of x bar minus mu divided by standard deviation divided by root m this is a formula so simply apply the values so here x bar value is 6.75 minus mu value is 6.8 divided by standard deviation value is 1.5 divided by root of n n is 400 so simplify this with the calculator so you will find so on simplification 6.75 minus 6.8 will get minus 0 0.05 and 1.5 divided by square root of 400 you will get what here 0 0.075 so this division will get so because of this negative sign so this uh, mod can be uh, removed absolute value we can consider so 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.075 so we will get the answer is 0 0.6667 that is mod z is equal to so therefore therefore mod z is equal to 0 0.6667 so now so in the question there is a no such instruction to test for 5% or 1% so we will test for both so as we know that so this value so this value out here i will write like that so it is this 0 0.066 is less than 1.96 1.96 belongs to what here 5 percent and also less than 2.58 which is nothing but 1% so both in both 5% also it is accepted because the less value if the value this value is coming greater than any, any of this at that time what happened it is rejected so therefore so less than 1.96 so we will accept it this uh, the uh, 0.667 is also a less than what here 2.58 that is for 1% so uh, uh, what here accepted so therefore we have tried a conclusion therefore we need to say that h0 is h0 is accepted for 5% and 1% level of significance okay so you can conclude it like that